Hi, let's design DFA for some more example. In previous lecture, I discussed how to design DFA for starting with some string. Now I'll discuss how to design DFA with ending with some string. So first example is every string end with zero. It will accept zero, one zero, zero zero, zero zero zero, one zero, or zero plus means positive closure, any number of zero. You can mark every string end with zero. Last alphabet is zero, before that it can be anything. So W equal to X zero. What is minimum string here? Minimum string is 0 and its length is 1. For one length string, we require two states q0, q1. From q0 by 0, it will go to q1. This is just like frame. First list out which string it will accept. Then for the minimum string, draw the DFA. It's just like frame. We did the frame. Now fill the rest. From q0, 0, zero go to q1. By 1, where it will go? 1 can be self true because it is end with 0. When it is end with 0, before 0, it can be anything. So just make a self loop with 1. Then from Q1, Q1, 0 can be a self loop. So even 0 will be a self loop, it will also end with 0. And for 1, it have to go Q0. So now it will accept every string end with 0 and it is a DFA. You can take any string. Let's take a bigger string and check whether it is accepting or not. Now just check for first one, it will be a loop. For second one, again loop. Then for zero, it will go to Q1 state. Then for one, again it will go to Q0 state. Then for zero, it will again go to Q1 state. For one, it will go to Q0 state. For zero, it will go to Q1 state and it accepts. In next language, every string end with one zero. Which string it will accept? It will accept 10, 010, 110, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Q2. From Q0, one transaction is there. So for zero transaction, it can be a self loop because it is end with one zero. So before one zero, it can be anything. So just make a self loop of zero. Then from Q1, zero transaction is there for one. One can be also self loop because if it will be self loop, then also it will end with one zero. So make a self loop of one. Then from Q2 by one, it will come to state Q1. And it will end with 1, 0, 1, 0. From Q2 by 0, it will go to state Q0. Let's check with the bigger string whether it is accepting or not. Here it is end with 1, 0. So first 1, it will go to Q1. Then for 0, it will go to state Q2. Then for third 1, it will come to Q1. Then for another 1, it will be self loop. Then for 0, it will again go to Q2. Then for 1, it will come to Q1 and from Q1 by 0, it will go to Q2. So it will accept. Let's do another language. So every string end with 0, 1, 1. What it will accept? It will accept 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So last three alphabets should be 0, 1, 1. You can say W equal to X, 0, 1, 1. X can be anything. So what is minimum string here? Minimum string is 0, 1, 1. And length is 3, so it requires 4 state Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3. Then from Q0 by 0, it will go to state Q1. From Q1 by 1, it will go to state Q2. From Q2 by 1, it will go to state Q3. Now it's a frame. Frame is done. Now we'll just fill the test part. From Q0 by 0, it will go to Q1. By 1, it can be self loop because it is end with 0, 1, 1. So before that, it can be anything. From Q1 by 0, it can be a self loop because still it will be end with 0, 1, 1. Then from Q2, here 0 cannot be because it will be 1, 0, 1. But we require 0, 1, 1. So in between two consecutive 1, 0 is not possible. So from Q2 by 0, we will go to state Q1. Now from Q3, Q3 by 0, it will come to state Q1. And Q3 by 1, it will go to state Q0. Because it is end with 0, 1, 1. So from Q3, so here 1, 1 is there. So you can come 0 here. So it will be again 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1. And for 1, it can come to state Q0. Take a bigger string and check whether it is accepting or not. So now just check for first 1, it will go Q0. Then for 0, it will go to state Q1. Then for third 0, it will be a self loop. For 1, it will go to state Q2. 
for 1 it will go to state q3 then from q3 by 0 it will go to state q1 then by 1 it will go to state q2 then by 1 it will go to state q3 so it will accept if in l every string end with substring s or suffix x it is double equal to xs or s length equal to n then the number of state required in dfa equal to n plus 1 so you can see here end with 0 so its length is 1 so it require 1 plus 1 2 state here end with 1 0 length is 2 so it require 2 plus 1 3 state here end with 0 1 1 length is 3 so it require 3 plus 1 4 state thank you